Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the Blackhawks affiliate versus the Stars affiliate series previews. We have the Roxford Ice Hogs against the Texas Stars. As the Roxford Ice Hogs are full of very good, talented rookies, mixed with obviously some guys like Evan Barrett, who's had a few games in the league, obviously under his belt. McLaughlin, who at this point has had a few games in the league under his belt for the Roxford Ice Hogs as well. And as I talked about in past videos, it is pivotal to have that mix of guys over 100 games in the league that have the mighty great experience combined with these great skilled players that are up and coming like the Lucas Raquels of the world that ended up leading their team in points. Mike Hardman ended up also being, well, the name fits, a very hard-nosed forward. That's a good rookie himself, so is Joshua Slavin, related to the great Jake. Uh, Michael Tepley have also played good as a rookie. Uh, Barrett Mitchell, Garrett Mitchell, also the name of a baseball player, uh, played a lot of games and played a solid lower-end role as well. So there's a good mix there. Uh, there is a top-heavy offense when it comes to the Rockford Ice Hogs. There's Raquel, then you have McLaughlin, then you drop to 35 points of the great AHL veteran Brett Conley. Then 32 of Slavin and Hardman, who are all rookies, and Teple. So you wonder if the rookies are going to be able to shine the brightest under the Calder Cup bright lights in their first season. That would be a little bit of a concern with me, but they do start on home ice, which I think makes it easier for rookies as well as uh, Boost Decker as well, DJ Boost Decker. Um, and uh, you have Garrett Mitchell, Cameron Morrison, another rookie. So, like, that's a repeating theme, obviously, uh, when it comes to also their goaltender, Arvid Soderblom, uh, who's been absolutely bonkers this season and one of the best young netminders in the game, almost a 920, uh, ridiculous over 20 wins, uh, was absolutely nuts on the season. Dalia was bleh this year, but Arvid Soderblom was really, really good for the Roxford Ice Hogs. I don't have to envision they go with him, but the concern for me, like I kind of touched on with their skaters, is just so many rookies. You got Raquel, you got Hardman, you got Slavin, you got Tepley. They really relied on those guys in the regular season. McLaughlin and Conley, those guys have been around the block more, but the rookies, how are they going to continue to step up in the postseason? I always like going more with experience. Why Kolnick, another very good rookie on defense. Same with Rigula. But they're both rookies. Phillips obviously has some experience. Galvis is a rookie. Um, Ian Mitchell has a little bit of experience, but still a youngster in the league. So it's going to be interesting to see how that comes because you have they have Gleason, Shea, Petrovic, a longtime veteran uh, back there. Sassoni, excuse me, Rawlsburg. So the Stars definitely have more experience on that defense for sure. And also in their forward core, because their leading scorer is Anthony Lewis, who's been around for a, a minute. Uh, Ty DeLandria, who seems like he can eventually be a star as well, but is doing good down there. Curtis McKenzie, the great veteran. Uh, Lesperance, who's a great veteran. Uh, so I think, for me, I would say starting at home and the fact that their young goaltender is nuts. I almost do lean Roxford in this, even though I always do like, and I would kick myself if I get it wrong though, because I always do lean towards experience. And the Texas Stars have the more experience, plus young guys um, like Oscar uh, Bach as well. But the, the, they're really good on experience uh, with Lewis, with McKenzie, with uh, Lesperance. Uh, yeah, this one's probably. A tough series to pick because Gleason also, Shea Petrovic, because the the young talent of Roxford is elite. It's just, is it going to overbalance? Like even Ian Mitchell's a very good offensive defenseman. Colnix developed into a very good overall defenseman. Same with Regula. It's just, are they going to be able to continue to do that in the playoffs as this team in Roxford, I'm meaning, really relied on the rookies and the Harvins, Slavins, Tepleys, Raquels again. I'm going to go with Roxford. I'm going to ride with my gut. My gut says just because of how good Roxford is, just how skilled Roxford is, their depth scoring as well on top of the Raquels and McLaughlins. Uh, even Garrett Mitchell, start, um, if he can be a guy that emerges or a Morrison or a 
<clears throat> or like somebody like a poor or something can be a guy that emerges in the postseason. Even a Gabriel, who's a big pounder guy that really are guys that step up usually more in the postseason than regular. I think they are in a good spot. They have a roster that can play postseason style hockey. It's just they haven't had to do it yet because they have a lot of rookies. So that's what really made me hesitant to pick them. But I'm just going to go with my gut, and I really like the talent level of the Ice Hogs. I love the talent level of the Stars too, but I love the Silky Mitts of the Raquels of the world. I love the just play through years of the Harmons of the world, the Slavens who are the hard workers. I know they don't have most skill, but great defensively. You probably will have an NHL future if he keeps playing with that good poise on both ends of the puck. The the experience of Texas definitely makes this hard. I think it'll go three games, but I think it'll go to the Ice Hawks. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please you subscribe down below or above with the easy juice. Ready to keep us growing to 250 or more by the start of June. Really appreciate you guys' love and support. Peace out, everybody.